All right, my friends, what's up? Welcome back to some more FIFA 23 Everton career mode. Everton have just won in real life. I'm recording this right after the Leeds match. I'm absolutely beaming, but hopefully I'll be beaming at the end of this video as the last video didn't go quite to plan. We didn't even do that badly, really, but we dropped from second to fifth. We're outside the top four as it stands, but we're looking to get back in here with the win against Bournemouth. Bournemouth actually won in real life today as well. Bournemouth and Southampton won. Of course, the one time Everton win, everyone around us wins as well, which is just typical, but we are up to six. 16th in the Premier League now. A brilliant win under Sean Dyche there. Very, very important three points. Probably the most important three points in a very long time. And uh, yeah, we, we knocked Leeds down further further down the table and catapulted, ourse catapulted ourselves out of the relegation zone, which is just absolutely incredible. Now, I think I will start this team here. I'm not putting McNeil in there. I'm going to play a Wobi right mid. And I'm going to play Pulisic on the left. I think that's that's a, a fair compromise. And I think we're going to start that team there. We may bring on Dolberg at some point um, as well. Of course, we have that option. We can put Pul uh, Werner on the left or Pulisic back on the right or take a Wobi off. Any number of options, honestly. But what a performance today, lads. Honestly, we definitely deserved the three points. 100% we, we big time deserved the three points, and I'm so happy that we got them. Uh, Seamus Coleman reeling back the years there. What a goal from Shamey, by the way. I, I He says he meant it. He, he meant to shoot, at least. Do we believe him? I'm not so sure. Uh, you know what? We'll give it to him. We'll give it to him. Uh, Seamus Coleman... What a, what a warrior. What a player for us. Godfrey's up to an 82. Nice. Lovely to see that. Calvert-Lew an 83. Okay, we have a solid looking team here, guys. We just need to get the three points here against Bournemouth. That would be absolutely mahusive. Let's get it. Uh, Everton versus Bournemouth. First game, must win. Must win here to get us back in the hunt for the top four top four uh, fight, the top four battle. But yeah, what a game today. I was literally the last 20 minutes, man. Oh my God, my nerves were at me to a high degree. But Leeds were terrible. I mean, I really fear for Leeds. I like Leeds as well as a team, man, but Jesus, they were awful. Any Leeds fans in my, uh, in my comments, I feel for you guys. I hope that you can sort it out. Maybe a new manager will... Um, We'll get you guys up the table. Of course, I don't hope you get out of it on Everton's account, but I do hope Leeds stay in the Premier League because I think the Premier League is better with Leeds United in it. And uh, yeah, I think that they are a massive team, you know. So uh, I think it would be it would be a shame to see Leeds go down. Uh, maybe they'll even bring back Bielsa. Who knows? But yeah, it was, it was a good performance from Everton. Unfortunately, Onana went off injured. Hopefully, it's nothing serious because uh, I think Onana is an absolutely vital part to us staying up. He's a huge player for us at the moment, and uh, I'd be very worried if Onana was injured. Um, Ducore has been doing well. He did really well today, apart from that absolutely abysmal um, piece of play when he went through on goal. I don't even know what the hell Ducore was attempting to do right there. That was how a professional footballer can be that bad when he's through one-on-one -on, -one on goal is beyond me. But um, other than that, I think he had a decent game. Ghana had a decent game, but Onana is definitely our best centre mid, and I feel like our most important player at the moment in general. McNeil, uh, I really just don't like McNeil. I, I really think he's not a good player. Pulisic back post to Wobi! And I, I don't mean to hate on McNeil. He's a young player. He's going to improve, but he needs to learn to use his right foot. Like, that is so important that he needs to learn to use his right foot because every time he has a chance to shoot on his right foot or do anything on his right foot, he tries to get it onto his left foot immediately. Like, immediately tries to get it onto his left foot. And I'm like, please, please lad. Please stop. But yeah, I, I, the one thing so far about Daisha's reign is I will, I will say... I'm kind of bemused by his lack of using Damari Gray, but I, I kind of get why he's not using him. I just... No way is that a pen. No way is that a pen. But yeah, just because Gray isn't as good tracking back, I understand that, but... We need goals as well at the same time. But, I mean, can't argue with six points from nine. Sean Dyche has uh, got two 1-0 victories, clean sheets as well. Come on, Pickford. I need a big save from you here, lad. Big save from you here, lad. Pickers... He didn't have much to do today. No. Bass. Bollocks. Uh. Yeah, let me know if you think Seamus Coleman's goal today was on purpose. I'd love to know how many people think he, he did it on purpose. I didn't think it was on purpose, but now that he said it, I think Seamus Coleman is an honest man. He, he meant to shoot. So, yeah, I'll, I'll believe him. But on, honestly, we need to turn this game around. We need to focus on what the hell we're doing here and turn this game around. 
Brilliant turn from Christian Pulisic. Chelsea, by the way, losing at home to Southampton. That didn't, did us no favours. And what the hell are Chelsea at? I think Potter's probably uh, on the chopping block after that because you can't lose at home to Southampton after spending all that money. And Potter's, I think, won two in ten games now or something. That's just not good enough. That's not good enough for Chelsea. I think Lampard got sacked for a lot less than that. So uh, at Chelsea, that is. Not at Everton, of course. Timo, Timo, Timo! Oh my god, Timo Werner! Oh, Nana! What a save! Calvert Lewin, you donkey! You have to bring it onto your right foot! Mc Calvert Lewin doing his best McNeil impression here. He would have been offside anyway. He would have been offside. I, I thought maybe if the keeper saved it, it would have been okay, but nah, he's 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 clearly offside. All right, no worries. Come on, that was a good uh, good effort from Onana. Anyway, it was good play from Werner and Calvert Lewin. Werner had done extremely well with that run there. Calvert Lewin through for Werner, who's onside. Timo! Oh my God! It bobbled right before he hit it. You know, I think this bobbles right before I hit the ball. Watch. Oh, yeah, it did. It did a little bit, but still, you have to score that. You have to score that, unfortunately, Timo. That's just not good enough, man. That is just nicked good enough, my friends. Damn it. Silly, silly boy. Werner, Tate, Nori. The Werner. Werner is finding so much space here, Timo Werner. Werner! Oh, what a save. Werner's the star man at the moment. We need to get him... Get him on the ball a little bit more. He's getting a lot of opportunities here. Come on. Come on, Blues. We need to be level here. Werner! Oh, from post, Timo Werner, very nearly. All right, I'm going to go a little bit deeper here. Sean Dyche's corners, I've noticed, have been going deep. I'm going to try to put this deep back there. Just like that. Tarkovsky! Oh, cleared off the line! Just like Leeds did in real life today. Half time, 1 0 to Bournemouth. I think their only chance was the penalty. We've had so many opportunities, but we haven't managed to put it in the back of the net, and that's obviously the most important thing to do in this game. Incredible how we're losing this, honestly. Absolutely incredible. Let's have a look at the match facts there. We have to just be way up. We only have a 1.0 expected goals. I feel like it's much more than that. We've had five shots compared to their two, though. Uh, I just feel like we've played much better than Bournemouth, though. Much better. And we need to score a goal here in the second half. Come on, boys. Well, got things Can't let that penalty here. cost us. Hold on, Timo. Quick throw. They Finds Onana. Calvert-Lewin, yes! He's onside too. I thought he might have been offside, but he's not. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He's fit for once. And he scores for once. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, you beauty. Well done, son. What a goal there. It was a quick throw in from Werner, who done really well to win that throw in the first place. And then Onana just does, does a great little pass behind Calvert-Lewin. And Calvert-Lewin is alert. He reacts to it. Touch, bang. One touch and bang. That's a brilliant goal from Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And we deserve that. We deserve that big time. Frankie Lamps loves it. The Toffees love it. Up the Toffees. Ref? How's it? Oh, it is. Okay. I was going to say, how is that not a free? Werner, over the top. Calvert-Lewin. No. Big chance for Dom. Big chance for Dom. He's not going to take it yet. Hold on, Onana. No. How does it get through? Good, good tackle, Godfrey. All right. Bournemouth trying to get themselves into this now. They're trying to get me to take off Onana, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I think I'll make changes soon, but not quite yet. Cleared. Can Werner win this? No, he can't. And Bournemouth are going to pile on the pressure here in the last 30 minutes. He said last 15 minutes. It ain't the last 15 minutes, sir. I can tell you that much. All right, Onana is a little tired, so maybe we'll take him off. We'll bring on Garner, and I'm going to bring on Dolberg for Pulisic, and I'm going to put uh, put Werner on the left, because Werner's been really good this game. He's been really effective, but uh, I want to give Dolberg a chance here to uh, to prove himself as well. Come on, boys. It's Bournemouth taking on Leicester what is that, Godfrey? What is that, Benjamin? Well done, Paulinha. Well done, Paulinha, again, but still, Bournemouth are pushing forward. Benjamin Godfrey, you beauty. Well done, Godfrey. And well done, Dolberg. And what is that? I didn't, I was pressing circle to tackle, obviously not to shoot. Oh, good save, Pickford. I was focused on the pass back, but he went for the shot. And Rosario is going to whip a corner in here for Bournemouth. Bournemouth starting to take over a little bit here, which is not good. It will be clear. It? Get it out, get it out, get it out. Come on, lads, please push out a little bit. 
Yes, Patterson, lad. And Patterson makes the run forward. Nathan Patterson finds Calvert-Lewin. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Everton are making the break here. Everton are storming forward in numbers. Timo Werner. Back post. Oh! Paulinho was ready and waiting, but it's a good block. It's a really good block. Damn it. Get it out. Oh, brilliant from Dolberg. Casper Dolberg has room to run into here. And he does really well to find Calvert Lewin. He misses. Dominic Calvert Lewin. You clown. Oh, no, Dom. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to bring on Kudus for Paulinha. I'm going to put a Wobi back at centre mid. And I'm going to put uh, Werner out left and Weah out to the right. And we're going to go 4 4 1 1, which is the formation that Everton have been playing recently. Um, more of a 4 5 1, but 4 4 1 1 in, in possession, it seems like. But we'll take that. Come on, boys. Brilliant from Garner. Kudus! Just off the bench, genius! Absolute genius! Come on! Mohamed Kudus comes off the bench to win it for Everton. Unbelievable. What a finish from Kudus. What a pass. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable right there. Literally on the pitch in a matter of moments. Garner there, brilliant pass. Brilliant pass from Werner as well. That's just a beautiful team goal right there. Oh, they're only on the pitch a matter of moments. And what a important goal. What a goal and what an important goal. Mohamed Kudus wins it for Everton here potentially five more minutes to hold on now Mohamed Kudus his second goal in seven matches he loves it you can see how much that means to him let's see if we can hold on now that's a red card Jesus okay thank God Bert yes Pickford what am I doing what have I done what a save what a save from Jordan Pickford Lads, leads are all over us here. Yes, Jordan! Jordan Pickford is the GOAT. Jordan Pickford is our knight in shining armour here. We need to survive one last attack, and Dwight McNeil survives it beautifully and adequately. And that's game! What an important win that is. What a win. Unbelievable. Leeds, or bloody Bournemouth rather, tried their absolute best at the end there. Incredible. Incredible stuff. We somehow hold on for the win. Frank Lampard loves it. The Toffees love it. And we'll take that all day long. Mohamed Kudus, yeah beauty. Yeah beauty. I'm going to scout Nanto as well, because I feel like he could be a good winger for us. If Werner's going to play up front, you know, have him... As a young star, anyway, in there. All right, boys, what a win. What a bloody win that is. Super important. Your beauty. And we're into the Carabao Cup against Watford next now. I think I was already scouting Nanto, actually, wasn't I? I swear I was. No, I haven't scouted him. I'm going to shortlist him and scout him and see. Uh, because I feel like he could have a high potential in this game. Unless, like, he really kind of only came onto the scene this season, which I think he might have. Right, away to Watford and then away to Newcastle. In the round of 16, away to Watford here. This is a massive game. An absolutely massive game. Inspired substitutions, you see there. But let's see if we can uh, if we can get the dub here. I think we might need to make a few changes, potentially, uh, to avoid players being too tired for that game. I'm going to start Garner. I'm going to start uh, Dolberg. We're going to give Timo Werner a little bit of a rest. Um... I might actually go to the 4 4 1 1 because that, that seemed to work right at the end there. Uh, and I'll start Dolberg and give Calvert Lewin a rest as well. Calvert Lewin and Werner can both get rests. And I think I'll start a Wobi. And we'll give Palini a rest there. Put Kudus in. Put McNeil in. And put Timothy Weah in as well. I'm going to swap Weah and McNeil. And we'll go with that team there now, I think. Looks good to me. I'm going to get some of the youngsters on the on the bench here as well. Uh, definitely want Allison on there to potentially make a difference if we need it. All right, boys. Manchester United, Liverpool. We're playing the winner of Man City and Southampton, though. Okay. Well, that's not going to be easy. Oosh. No, come on, come on, come on. Clear it. Lads, what are we doing here? Come on. What are we doing here? Horrible start to the game. 
but not the events. No reason at all. Why oh, it's bad this tackle. No, it's not going to be a red, surely. He was not last man back, man. Oh, well, thank God. Card, oh, thank God. When the commentator said that, I was very worried. No, it didn't. That was always a yellow. If he would give me a red for that, I probably would have sacked the game off. James Garner finds Dwight McNeil. McNeil! Oh, terrible shot in the end. Really bad, Dwight. Come on. Godfrey. Good movement. Finds Kudus. Kudus to McNeil. Kudus again. Alex Awobi! Good save again. All right. Starting to heat up here now. Come on, boys. James Garner with a little whip. Connor Cody! Oh! The power on that one was insane. It's the crossbar does Connor Cody. Wasn't far away, you know. That wasn't far away from being 1-0 Everton. You can make a run forward, Casper. It would help. Even playing striker right now. Oh! Yes, he is. He is indeed, and he nearly scores. Just making sure, because he seemed to be behind Kudus a lot of the time. But that would have been a special goal there from Dolberg. Not to be on this occasion, but maybe it'll be on this occasion. Nay. Big 45 minutes ahead. Will we crash out in the Carabao Cup last 16? Or shall we get into the quarterfinals? Let's find out. It's live! Awobi for Che. We haven't seen much of him yet. He finds way up. Kudos! Deflection! Ooh, wasn't far away from deflecting into the goal there. And that would have been a hot start to the second half. Let's see if Patterson can, or Garner rather can put it on someone's noggin. Cody! Oh Jesus, what have I done? No, don't do this. <gasps> well done, Hein. Well done, Carl Hein. Very important save from Hein. Very important save. We're going to have to make some changes here, I think. I might even change the formation, but we'll see. Here's Che. Go on, Che. Go on! Yes, lads! Okay, he just miscontrolled the ball, missed it. And does a terrible pass. The minute I give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a compliment, you decide to uh, throw it back in my face there. Hold on, Godfrey. Oh my god. Thought it was gonna be a penalty there or something. Oh my god, fuck you, game. Really? Come on. Why do I always get scored on from free kicks against me? All the time, man. All the time. Good lord. I cannot believe we're losing this now. Jesus Christ, lads. Come on. I can't crash out here. Not after dominating the game away to Watford and then we just go and concede a silly Billy, 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 Billy goal. Hold on, Godfrey. Important interception from Benjamin Godfrey. He finds Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin! Dolberg! Oh! I thought he was going to hit it on his left foot. He didn't. All right, we'll bring on Dobbin for Wea. This is our last last throw of the dice, honestly. Lewis Dobbin, nine minutes remaining here. And this is criminal. Criminal stuff that we're not winning this game, really. It is. I can't believe it. He's offside! Fuck's sake, man! Oh, it's clown shit there. Like, how do you go offside? It's game over, man. Genuinely game over. We've lost this. Well done, Dolberg. Oh, for fuck's sake. You do the hard work and then you do a shit pass like that. We're out of the Carabao Cup. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're out. And we just outplayed them the whole game and just couldn't score. Jesus Christ, that's shocking. Newcastle away next to finish this video. We need to win this at least. Get ourselves secured into the top four, hopefully. Are we back in the top four now, maybe? Oh, we're third. That's good. That's good. We've played one less game than Arsenal, who are top as well. We can go within three po We can go within three points of Arsenal and level on points with Villa here. Um, but they have a much higher goal difference. So if we beat Newcastle 8-0, we might be able to overtake Villa if they lose. All right, come on, boys. Let's do this. All right, we the lads. Come on, boys. St. James's Park. It's going to be tough to get a win here, but we can do it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can I time a slide tackle right? God. Every single one is just a, an inch off, it feels like. That's a blatant foul, but Pulisic beats his man. And he could go all the way here, Christian Pulisic, you know. He's got the pace. 
Does he have the skill? Does he have the desire? Pulisic does! Brilliant! Brilliant! I waited 90 minutes for a goal like that in the game against Watford and it never came but Everton take the lead eight minutes in against Newcastle brilliant goal from Pulisic counter attacking glory there that was massive from him absolutely massive come on Eddie Howe can hardly believe it but their toffees are in the driving seat now at St James's Park it's 1-0 Everton great tackle from Paulinha and now Pulisic Werner Werner through for Calvert-Lewin. Can they make it a double here? Oh, you dup it. You dup it. You mup it. God damn it, Dom. I just, the, the touch was bad and I couldn't get onto it after that. Werner. Another corner. All right, we're all over him here, boys. Come on. Yes, Godfrey, lad. We had left the middle of the park wide open there, so important tackle from Godfrey. And Pulisic. With a good pass to, to find Timo Werner. Werner, does he keep Calvert-Lewin on side? Yes. No, he doesn't. I thought he just stayed on. But he was off. Werner wins it. Werner gets past his men. Timo Werner wide. How have you missed, Timo? How have you missed, my man? That is shocking, Timo. Great tackle. Great tackle from Tarkovsky. And Everton a three on three here. Awobi finds Calvert Lewin, does he? Yes, he does. Calvert Lewin. Pulisic was coming in. Oh. Probably should have shot, but it was a tight angle. Coleman scored from a tighter angle today, though, didn't he? So worth the go. Rashford did against Barcelona as well. We've seen a couple of those goals over the last uh, few days. Saka for Newcastle. Really? What are we witnessing here? Patterson does well, though. Does really well. And Awobi does even better. Calvert-Lewin takes the touch. Werner, brilliant. Absolutely sensational. Dominic Calvert-Lewin deserves an award for that one because that was a brilliant decision to pass it. And Werner, storming onto the ball, dispatches it beautifully. Come on, lads. Yeah, boy! When the ball changes hands, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Timo, Timo, Timo. Gorgeous. Gorgeous goal. Timo Werner and Dominic Calvert Lewin continue their hot streak of a partnership there. And Everton go two to the good before half time. Massively important time to score a goal there. And Newcastle are going to be up against it in the second half. We need to be clinical. And we have been. Now we need to be resolute in our defence. The back of the ball from the flank. Well done. Well done, Benjamin Godfrey. Keeps it in and all, and that's half time. 2 0 to the Toffees. Come on. We're staying in that top four, baby. We're staying in that top four. Let's have it. We may have crashed out of the Carabao Cup, but I want to win the FA Cup and I want top four. All right? Sound good? Let's do it. All right, boys. Second half. Not going to make any changes just yet, but I'm thinking about going defensive soon. And if things don't start off hot at the second half, I might uh, I might just do that. Vitally important that we won this game as well with Man City coming up, you know. Werner does well. Releases Pulisic. He's had a brilliant game so far. Pulisic, Calvert-Lewin, 3-0, game over. That's, that's it done. Get in there. Get in there, baby. Get in there. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has sealed the deal for the Toffees. 3-0. Probably going to go defensive now, honestly, and just shut up shop here. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant, 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 brilliant stuff. Him, will ya? Casper Dolberg. All right, sound good. I'll bring on James Garner as well um, for Palinha. Four subs. There we go. Come on. Good save pick for a yellow card for Godfrey. And um, every slide tackle in this game, even if it looks like a clean tackle, it seems to be a yellow card and a free. Tarkovsky gets ahead of him. No, he doesn't. Pickford, amazing save from Jordan Pickford. He's been utterly brilliant. Dolberg is brilliant there as well. And now Everton can counter. Garner tries to slip through a Wobi. Great tackle, Onana. I don't understand. The slide tackles just don't work in this game. They don't work. Like, it looked like I slide tackled him, and he just I just don't get the ball. And Newcastle score, Alan St. Maximan. 
Makes it 3-1 with 20 minutes left, and maybe they'll put us under some pressure here. I goddamn hope not. Yeah, it's just weird how the slide tackles just never seem to work no matter what you do. It's either a foul or it just doesn't work, you know? Which is so strange, man. Normal tackles aren't working now either. Jesus Christ, Pickford has to save us there. And that could have really made things nervy. Really made things nervy indeed. Newcastle have a fire lit under them here. Godfrey! Alright. Oh Jesus, lads, what am I up to? Oh my God, what am I up to here? I'm just embarrassing myself here. Garner, brilliant pass from him. Needed a, a little bit of class there. And a little bit of cool, calm collection there. And that's a good pass from Dolberg, is it? Yes, it is. No, well, we just misses it. And we're, we're under the cosh here. Like, this is not over now. It was looking like it was going to be a comfortable victory. The formation change has not gone how I wanted it to at all. Great tackle, Garner. We just need a few more minutes now. Good pass from Dolberg and a good pass from Awobi or Onana to Awobi rather. And here's Awobi now. Poor pass. All right, guys, that should be that now. Huge win. Huge win. Another huge, huge W there. Dolberg, what am I doing? I should, I should have just kept going with him. That's game though. Come on, boys. Get in there. What a what a win that is. Huge three points, Johnny. Come on. Absolutely huge. Alan St. Maximan isn't happy. But the Toffees will be delighted. 3-1. And hopefully that'll uh, get us level on points with Villa. They had a game in hand as well, though. But uh, we're gone three points behind the league leaders now, my friends. Three points behind the league leaders. Who was our man of the match there? I'd love to see. It's going to be Christian Pulisic, and it had to be him. He was brilliant, to be fair. Timo Werner, Calvert-Lewin, Patterson, Pickford. Eight Nori all had good games as well. We'll take that dub, boys. That's a big dub. After crashing out, we needed a response. We needed a response, but we've got one there, and we're comfortably inside the top four as things stand. We just need to keep it up, though. We have Man City next, and that ain't going to be easy. And as you know, you can drop out of the top four with one loss just like that. Even if you're, you've been doing well for so long, this game is punishing with the with the Premier League table. It really is, and uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can do it against Man City. That would be monumental. But uh, we are ahead of Man City. They're ninth in the table. Incredibly, Arsenal lead the way. We are one point behind Villa. So Villa drew against uh, whoever they were playing. Liverpool three points behind us. Chelsea. Four points behind us, so we're comfortably inside the top four right now. Even if we lose to Man City, there's no way that we would uh, leave the top four. The worst we could do is go to fourth if we lost to Man City badly and Liverpool win. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a big like. Mike Alenko is back from, uh, from injury as well, which is good. We have two options at left back now. Um, don't blame yourself, Connor. You did well. You did well, son. You did well indeed. All right. Anyway, that's where we'll end the video. As I said, guys, thank you so much. If you want to see more of this series, you know what to do. Drop a like. The support has been incredible recently, even with the views not that high. The likes have been really high, and I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time. Pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.